Hi, welcome to my review of these H2 Audio Interval. And this is so, this is compatible with an Apple Watch. So this is so you can listen to your music whilst you're swimming. And also it's got an app so it can count lengths as well and give you feedback in your ears as you're swimming lengths. Now I've got an endless pool here, so I'm not gonna use the second facility, but I really want to listen to some music while I'm swimming. I've had several variations of MP3 players where you have to download the music from your computer um, onto the headphones and then you can listen to it. For me that's a bit of a pain because all I want to do is listen to what I've got on my phone already. Now the fact that this interacts with your Apple Watch I thought sounded pretty cool. Uh, I'm just, they've been around for a little while but I've never heard of them before. I was just doing a bit of searching around. So here we go. This is what you get in the box. Now quite a neat little bit of kit. You can see these aren't bone conductor headphones, but these are in-ear headphones. So interesting to see how they work. And the idea is uh, you link the Bluetooth up to your Apple Watch. There's a neat little bar there for your Apple Watch to con uh, connect to. Goes in your goggles, and then you can play all the music that you already have on your iPhone. So you just transfer it across to your Apple Watch. And as I said, audio books, um, you know, radio, whatever you want, it's just there for you, which is what I really want because I'm just too lazy to transfer things on my computer and then onto my, um, onto the little system, the little gadget. So this sounds like a good idea. So first of all, my Apple Watch. Now this is just a Series 3. I've not upgraded yet because frankly, come on Apple, once they start upgrading their technology for tracking the sports side, I'll upgrade at the moment. They seem to focus on the sleep side of stuff, so I just haven't bothered. So this is a Series 3, but it's compatible. Uh, I know this is compatible up to the new Apple Watches, so that's good. Um, with your watch yourself, you have to remove your strap. I'm a bit of a geek, so I've got a Star Wars strap. So just remove that. So that's off. That's off. Okay, and there's the watch, simple as that. Now I did charge this as soon as I got it out of the packet. So fully charged, and now it's got a neat little thing, as I said, and I'm just going to push up on there, and it should just go into place. There, snapped into place. Now that can go onto my goggle strap. Now I've already downloaded the app. Bum, 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 bum. So the app, you can just about see, it's at one of the top corner, and that's the H2 Audio app. Uh, and I just, that one, so that goes through everything from your, you know, the pool, the laps, that's for counting your actual laps itself. But what I want to do is just do the music. Now I've already connected this with Bluetooth. And let's just go on to music. Bit of black eyed peas and it's gone you can see there it's picked up the h2 h2o on the phone it's a bit blurry but you can see that h2 interval so just click that and i've got to turn this on now so I turn on here little button there turn that on there we go that's flashing So now it's connected. Uh, a bit of sound coming through there. Right, so I'm gonna stick this onto my goggles now. Normally I use sort of really small racing goggles, but I do have like a chunky pair, which I often use in the endless pool. And so it simply attaches the goggles. I'm gonna put it on there, go in the pool. I mean, the endless pools are fairly noisy. Once I get going, so I'll go in the pool and try it out and just see what the sound is like. Just uh, put that over my ears, hopefully keep those in a bit more. Okay, let's go. Okay, headphones are on.
Hopefully we're going to show too much. And uh, all attached to the, to the goggles. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, first goes a bit quiet, then it's full, so I'm going to turn it up. Uh, let's try that. Hey, that's better. Uh, just finished the session with them on. And really nice bit of kit. So quite impressed with this. So you can see functionality there. There's sort of my music, just been playing away with that. Now I did have to stop twice just to get these in the right angle in my ear. Once it's sort of they were slightly off and I couldn't really hear that well. So once I adjusted them, then it was perfect, you know, really loud music. So I guess you just have to get used to getting those in the right position. You know, as I said, I've used bone connected ones before, which go on your cheek, and they seem to, you know, they work pretty well in the water. So I guess it's a, something you've got to be aware of with headphones, but yeah, no problems. Once you've got them angled right, fantastic. So the cost of these little beauties, um, now, <laughs> I bought this in the middle of the night. For some reason I woke up and I decided I need some, Need some music when I'm in my endless pool. And they cost, so I bought them from the American site. I'm not, you know, it cost me $99. And shipping was $30. So not, not too bad. Um, good price. So from what I've tried so far, yeah, recommend these. If you're looking for a bit of music in your endless pool. I wouldn't wear these. I do a lot of open water swimming. I wouldn't wear these in the open water. Uh, just from a safety point of view. You know, just so I'm aware of what's going around me. But... In the endless pool, it looks great, and I can't wait to try out the interval when I am swimming in a 25 meter pool, because that will give you my, my times, my laps, and my ear, which sounds perfect. Okay, thanks so much. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to Colin Hill Swims. And I've got loads of videos on here, swimming around the world, winter swimming, all sorts of stuff. So check those out. Thank you.